Hi, this is Michelle Aiden with Libertas Institute at the Capitol with Senator Henderson to talk about Senate Bill 108 regarding birthing centers. Can you just give us some information about your bill? Sure. So a number of years ago, actually 11 years ago, midwives in the state of Utah were able to become licensed. They, they ran legislation that allowed them to become licensed if they wanted to, and licensed midwives um, her Utah law have the ability to practice in any out-of-hospital setting which includes a licensed birthing center. Mm -hmm. So after some of these midwives decided to go get licensed, they then went to uh, try to open a birthing center and found out that there were some regulations in place that prevented them from actually being able to become licensed, their birth centers. And so they went to the Health Facility Committee, which is the committee that oversees all of the licensing and regulating requirements for every health facility in the state of Utah. This is a committee that's made up of appointed individuals. There's 15 people on the committee and they have to be doctors, hospital administrators, nurses, and you know other people like that. Of course there's no midwives on the committee, there are no birthing centers represented on the committee, um, but they went to that committee, the midwives did, to try to um, tell them that you've got some rules in here that are impossible for us to comply with. Will you please modify these rules so that we can um, open up licensed birthing centers? When they were told no, repeatedly. So they discovered that there was a single room birthing center exemption. So if they have one room facility, then they don't have to become licensed with the state. And that's not just for birthing centers, that's for any health facility. So they started opening up these single room birthing centers. Um, but still repeatedly going to this committee over the years trying to get them to modify or change birth center rules so that they could open a facility that's two to five rooms, which is what they have the legal right under the law to do, and they've been rejected repeatedly over and over. This committee's acted in very anti-competitive ways. Um, and so my bill simply takes those two, those two rules, really, those two things that that this committee was using as a weapon to prevent them from being able to be, have a licensed birthing center and saying you can't, you cannot, uh, the Health Facilities Committee cannot mandate these things as a prerequisite for licensure. That's what my, that's what my bill does. Um, it provides extra liability and immunity protections also for doctors and hospitals who serve in emergency situations um, when, the, when the birth center patient may have to be transferred to a hospital. Um, but it's a pretty simple, straightforward rule. It, our bill, it doesn't take, it doesn't expand the scope of practice of midwives in any way. It doesn't give them anything more than, than what they've already been allowed to do under Utah law for the past 11 years, except it removes these ridiculous obstacles that the Health Facility Committee has put in place on purpose for the, for the purpose of restraining trade and obstructing state law. Perfect. Um, what would you say is a good reason why people in the state of Utah should be concerned with this issue? Well, what I've said to my colleagues even is it doesn't really matter if you like midwives, if you like birthing centers. This is a much bigger issue. This is a regulatory body of appointed market competitors using their regulatory power to obstruct the law, to restrain trade, to discriminate against people. And it's wrong, and we should all be outraged by this. If you don't like the law, there's a process to try to change the law but you don't go through the back door and try to use your regulatory power to restrain trade. Uh, so um, I think that the bigger issue really is a matter of justice. If people have the right to do something, the legal right to do something, they should not be prevented, purposefully prevented especially, um, by a regulatory committee made up of market competitors. Perfect, I think that answers all my questions. If you want more information or to contact one of your legislators, just click on the link in the description below.